Mohamed catch here. And of course, if you're totally new to the sport, welcome. Two three minute periods. Went into the first one, and of course, Greco Roman, upper body only. And even more, if you get the big throw almost like such, you could get the four on the board. But there's the first two for the takedown. Yep, there is the pronouncement. The two points that was given for that takedown. This, of course, the team challenge for third place. And there's another attempt to throw the same one he went for. Same one, this time able to pick up the takedown near the edge. Nukes Garcia to me at tier two. He is clearly number two and has been for years. And then everybody else below that. In Turkey, two world champions here on this lineup. You'll see Burhan Akbudak. Tries the arm drag, gets a huge throw. And the referee, of course, signals the four there. What a response. Beautiful arm throw. And the difference there is Sertumia continuing. And that's the problem with him at times, is he's so focused on the forward pressure that he loses his balance sometimes and gives up that massive four. And it's been topsy-turvy. It's gone each way, trying again with a big throw, sacrificing prime position and giving up the takedown there. That will make it a closer game. And Sertumia underlining his credentials in this one. Cover a lot of sports, but been very well impressed by the standard of refereeing so far. Let's see what the pronouncement is here. The referee does well to get out of the way. The two-point takedown. <laughs> Aktash, of course, the man in red. So Tangali, the main man. Well, you know what colour he's in, but what colour will be the trophy at the end? This, of course, for the team totals for third place final. Well, I mentioned that passivity. The whistle goes, the point on the board. And you get the feeling that this is just the starter before it. Can he get the big gut wrench attempt for the sacrifice throw? Four points signaled. And it is confirmed there. Four becomes six because of the turnover as well. Well, they are moving the feet and there's a little bit of blood on the eye there of Sultan Galli. Having a little look there. And there's a passivity point that we mentioned. A bit too much footwork. Both men, much of a muchness in terms of physique, in terms of the tail of the tape. But the scores on the board read one way. The all-world team for Blue. So he's got his eyes on Abeladze. And we might hear that whistle. You like that, don't you? I like it. The next train to Baku is just about to leave. So last bout, it was at the 157 mark of the period. This match, it's 217. Period, if you know that you're gonna take the lead in period number two. So smart wrestling here from Abeladze, stayed active in that opening frame did enough to just keep it to win within 1-0 and now gets his opportunity on top. Goes right into that left side gut and increases his lead to 3-1. To As we go under the referee's whistle for the under 67s. Third place, fourth match. Here at 76 kilos in women's wrestling, but she is also the vice president of the Turkish Wrestling Federation. How about that? But Murat Fira again incurring the wrath of the referee. I was just mentioning that there, Eric, in terms of the, the athletes from Ukraine, the bigger context, even to be here, to be part of this team, it's not about those previous successes. Seltruk Chan will know that he has work to do. And he's going to have to do it quickly because the referee has his eyes on him. As I said last period, important to get out of this period for John. Only down one to zero. And as I say that, almost on cue, Commentator's curse. curse. 
Yeah, you don't have to look hard to find him as they go head to head again. The referee just giving him a little admonishment. Not too much of the head butting on the inside. But he butts in this time with the whistle. It's a point on the board. Both feet to the left hip of Kulik and get that turn, but doing a great job of making sure that his hips stay on the mat. Oh, beautiful turn. And now, look it's at this. Understood where his hips two, were, was Kulik. Two. And if Pick. you see it, you've got to call it. And it's close. It's Kulik. Well, there's the touche, there's the touch. In the same category, this one, of course, the under 77s. As you can see there, the third place matches, it's all about. Silver and gold medals at the Tokyo Olympic, respectively. And to give these young guys an opportunity to get out there and has that shot to be at the World Championships, but to be on the world stage here and also represent the all world team. But it's going to do wonders for him moving forward into Paris. As you say, continuing that legacy, can he continue the action to get the score on the board or is he sacrificed? And Bashar tries to slip round at least for a step out point. Beautiful job by Bashar with the Nike gear as well. So Nike's going to be busy and you guys are going to be busy. But getting busy in the centre is Bashar, a bit more aggression. You mentioned that footwork earlier on, he gets the excellent throw. What's the referee's pronouncement? They're going to go four. The third place means a lot to both teams. Tangles himself up, gets at least the takedown. What a beautiful duck under. Started to the right, switched back to the left. And Bashar was ready to stop the duck. He initially stopped the first move, but it's that second move that was important. At the end of the day are just learning lessons. Yeah, it's only a mistake if you don't learn from it. And learning on the road at the moment is Levi. The referee having a look there, just checking. And ended up receiving a few unfortunate calls, putting him down in Burhan Akbudak was the two history makers. Those guys both won the first male world titles for their nations ever. Why are they not here? For them to get to that point sure. must have taken so much work physically, mentally, emotionally. Some sort of hold around the gut and get a, a hold on the scoreboard. He's got a decent chance at a throw at least. What's the exposure like? Two on the board. Can he turn two to four? It's a modern world, Eric. But anyway, we're underway. Agbadak has work to do and he's been stepped out already. And you mentioned wrestling a world champion here. Don't forget last night against Azerbaijan, he wrestled 2021 world champion Rafik Husanov. And wrestling his way forward there. There was a signal for four from the referee. It was given as a two, but what a response. This one ebbing and flowing. Agbadak. Laying down a marker here. Can he turn it over? Listen to the crowd. Beautiful transition. Snuck behind. To give Berdo Muratov a chance to get that scores on the board. Akpadak, though, to his credit, staying aggressive. The whistle is in the mouth now, though. to 87 kilos, look back to 2019 where he lost to Thomas Lorenz in the 77 kilo world finals and then makes the decision to go up. Of course, coming in from that world championship bronze medal. Certainly he doesn't miss those days when you've got to battle the scale before you got on the map, but trying to battle forward there is Cengiz. Excellent stuff, two and one. The corresponding scores, we mentioned the longer limbs. He's got the quick foot on the inside there. Both men giving it everything on the way through. The referee looking for action from Cengiz. And Alex Kisidis kissing goodbye to his World Cup team challenge. Team Turkey have tied it up at four all in the overall standings. This the penultimate matchup, the under 97s for a use it's not. Let's hit the weight room. Let's add a few more calories to the, to the workout regime.
as you say, you've got to be able to sustain it. As we've seen so far, so much stamina required. And looking back, it's been between 225 and 217 is where the calls have come. So within the next 15 to 20 seconds is when you're gonna see Kekalashvili, the referee's gonna hold out his right hand. And Kekalashvili's gonna have that opportunity, excuse me, left hand for red passivity. Italy, uh, Nicholas Kekalashvili. Well, the Italian stallion with a rocky style finish there. Kekalashvili begin to add his name to that illustrious roster. So in terms of the score on the board, the all-world team 5-4 up. Well, if in doubt, turn around and ask Jason Bryant what's going on. He's just given us a little rundown. Eric, you can probably add some clarity to that. So there's two chances of that, Slim and none. And I think Slim has just left back out. However, Oscar gets three on the board. He's going to go down fighting, going out on his shield. He's got a bit of a choke around the neck here, the referee having a good look at it. So the, the Turkish domination goes much further than Rizakayap, Yasmin Adar, and Taha Gul. The future, who is it going to be? I've seen it with my own eyes. So now, having the hope that Kenny Stoutis winning world bronze medal and being on the all-world team, we hope that this drives Lithuanian athletes to say they have earned that third place. And did so by beating the defending world champions.